Hi everybody and thanks for watching. No, I'm not Will Ferrell or his stunt double. But I always did want to play him on TV. Well, we're in uh, month number three now. Still out of work. We're in this COVID-19 thing, hoping to get back soon. And we're still in our budget cooking. So today, uh, I actually had some uh, inkling for some Chinese food. I did have plenty of frozen shrimp in my freezer. And I'm only going to use about 12 of them to feed two, possibly three, or for leftovers. And uh, one thing before we get started, you do not have to use a wok in this recipe. If you don't have a wok, you could just use a regular nice sized skillet that has a nice high side to it. Now, Chinese cooking, or Oriental cooking, as you know, is about 75% prep work. And the rest is just quick cooking in the skillet. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to start with prepping everything and getting it laid out to go in the skillet in order. Let's start with the green onion. To peel them, we're going to take this odd leaf out and strip it down, remove the hairy end. And then we'll cut the white part as separate from the green part. We'll cut the white part in half, lay them flat. Give them a nice chop. Put the white bottoms in this ramekin. And the green tops. Into this one. For the ginger, we're going to peel it with a teaspoon. And we'll cut it in half. Cut it in a julienne. Make a nice dice. And we'll line them up and do a rolling action cut to make a fine mince on this. At the end of this video, there's a link that you can click to check out our knife skills video. And we'll get this into our ramekin. Our three cloves of garlic, remove the tip, give them a pop, peel. Same thing here, fine mince. For the egg, we're only going to use the white, and we'll save that yolk for breakfast. And you do want to whisk it up with a fork, because it makes nice strings. We're also going to go ahead and prep our slurry, which is our water and cornstarch. Now at this point you can see everything is lined up exactly the way it goes into the pan according to the recipe. At this point, you don't even need the recipe. You don't even need your cutting board. We just need to cook. Start by placing two tablespoons of your sausage into a strainer and chop it up as it's cooking in the boiling water. This will take about two minutes. Now, I've made this recipe before where I sauteed the sausage, but it actually overpowered the taste of the shrimp. So this is a much better method and more authentic to the recipe, the way it was designed. Set it aside on a paper towel. Next, we're going to get that skillet hot for about two minutes. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of the oil to the hot pan. And we'll swirl the coat. And we'll add our shrimp into a single layer. We're also going to add about one teaspoon of our garlic. The rest is going to go back in the recipe, so we're going to put it back in line where it goes according to the recipe sheet. And we're going to saute these for about a minute or two minutes per side. You don't want to overcook them because they're going to go back in the sauce. So we're going to just give them a little color, give them a flip, get them turned over to the second side. That way both sides will taste good. And we're also cooking them fast too because we're not going to give that garlic a chance to burn either because if you burn the garlic, the dog won't eat it. Now we're going to place these on a plate that's set aside in order of the recipe and where it goes back in. I'm going to get that skillet back on the heat. And we're going to add another tablespoon of our oil. Swirl the coat. And we're going to add our ginger our garlic, 
the white part of the green onion, and we'll give it a quick saute. Oh boy, the fragrance is unbelievable. We're only gonna go for about 45 seconds or so. You don't wanna burn that garlic, and we're gonna add our one cup of chicken stock. Now this is not my chicken stock. This is just regular low sodium chicken stock that I got from the store. You can make your own, which we're going to make a segment on some stocks and sauces coming up that hopefully you'll tune in. We're going to get this simmering for about a minute. Switch over to our spoon. Make sure you get all those flavor bits off the bottom of the pan. And we'll add our frozen peas, which are optional, but I like them, and a pinch of salt. And after about 30 seconds, we're going to add our shrimp back to the pan. And also our cooked pork, sausage. And we'll bring it together until it just starts to simmer again. Now that we have a simmer back, we're going to stir up our slurry to reconstitute it and add it in there. That's our thickener. And let it simmer to do its job. That thickens up quick, in about a minute. Now we're going to take our scrambled egg white and put it around in a circle. And as it starts to harden, we're going to move our spoon in like this to make strings. That's way you have strings of the egg white in your dish. Finish up with some of those green onion tops. And about a one eighth of a teaspoon of some sesame oil. I like to finish mine off with just a few drops of some fresh lemon juice. The rest will save for our scotch and soda. And that's it. We're ready to serve it up on some rice.